So as we all know, Dragon Ball Z characters are very, very fast, but how fast are they really? And how would they compare to other characters or other beings? One thing that Dragon Ball Z has never really been good at is giving us a defined calculation on how strong or how fast these characters actually are. So it's been left to the fans to come up with their own theories or their own calculations for how fast these characters could be. So if it hasn't been clear enough today, I'll be looking at how fast these characters actually are. So to start off, I'm actually going to be looking at Goku in the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, where he is fighting Tien, and Tien actually uses his Solar Flare technique. The Solar Flare technique is pretty much just a flash of light, and you can't really dodge it, you know? It's not something that hurts your physical body, but it's something that hurts your vision, your sight, if you look directly into it. And Goku actually avoided it by outrunning the light and actually taking the glasses off of Master Roshi's head and then running back to his original position. So that tells me that Goku, as a 15-year-old, could outrun light. Another thing that I need to bring up is when Goku fought Krillin in the same tournament. He just flat out disappeared, and nobody could spot him except for Tian Shinhan and Master Roshi. And the funny thing is, that is actually one of the weaker forms of Goku, considering he was only 15. I think it's pretty safe to say that Goku is faster than light in short bursts. In a combat situation, Goku is much faster than the speed of light. But that's Goku, and Goku is considered one one of the strongest characters in the entire show. What if we use the so-called fastest in the universe, Berta of the Ginyu Force, where he states himself that he is actually faster than the speed of light. So if we're taking Berta's word on that, that must mean that Goku, by the time the Namek Saga rolls on around, Goku is for sure faster than light, if you didn't want to believe me before. But again, we don't know if he's talking about from getting from point A to point B, or if he's just talking about combat speed. There is only one way to find out out how fast Goku is from getting from point A to point B, and then we can therefore compare him to other Dragon Ball Z characters through power scaling. Again, this bit of information comes from the Namek Saga, and for those of you who haven't read the manga, you may have skipped over this in the anime as it wasn't as clear. It is said that Goku, after recovering in Frieza's spaceship, travels halfway around planet Namek in less than one second to get to the fight where Frieza's at. Now that directly came out of the manga, which means it's pretty much canon, you know, it's not filler, it's not made up, it's canon. Now since we don't know the actual size of planet Namek, we cannot judge how fast Goku was going. But all we really need to know is he was going pretty fast, you know, he's a fast man. And another thing to keep in mind is this version of Goku is by no means the strongest version of Goku. This was Goku before he even turned into a Super Saiyan. Now moving on to something that I feel like I have to bring up in this video, is the instant transmission. The instant transmission is used by many characters, it's mainly used by Goku, but Cell can also use it, same with Kid Buu and Kibito Kai. And as the name implies, it is instantaneous. However, I feel like I can't use this as an accurate measurement to judge all Dragon Ball Z characters because only a select few have the ability to use it. So I feel like this is a very interesting discussion that could go on for hours. But I'd have to say that the average Dragon Ball Z character is faster than light. And what I've said throughout this video has pretty much proven my point in that in combat speed, Dragon Ball Z characters are untraceable, especially through the human eye. And in flight speed, if we are judging Goku when he was on Namek before he turned into a Super Saiyan, he traveled all the way around Namek in one second. And I feel like by the end of the series, you know, characters like Piccolo, Gohan, Kid Trunks, even Goten would have the ability to do that. And in the new Dragon Ball Z movie Revival of F, I haven't seen it yet, but from the stuff that I have seen, they are moving at speed so fast that not even the Z fighters can trace them. So I definitely think this is a very interesting topic about how fast certain characters are within the series. And I do want to hear what most of you guys have to say about this. Like for me, it's very unclear. Like you have to kind of look in depth within the series, the actual franchise to really see how fast these characters are. So that's going to be my video for today, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z video.